It's time for Hats Deck Mike to enter the world of VR. I haven't used my VR headset a whole lot yet, but my buddy Tyler showed me something called MUVR since he knew it would be right up my alley. And yeah, this is awesome. Here's my customized room. It's not quite the same as my childhood room, but more of an amalgamation of rooms I spent a lot of time in back in the 90s. I actually did have this poster in my old room though. Man, Jalil White was like my hero. He was Urkel and voiced Sonic in the old cartoons. Way past cool. But yeah, you can customize all kinds of things in your room. But for now, I'll get to what MUVR is really all about. I have an NES and SNES here in my room, both with some games to try out. <laughs> you actually have to plug the cables into the TV. Now if that isn't the most nostalgic early 90s experience ever, then I don't know what is. I'll start with the all-time classic, Super Mario Brothers. Just gotta get it in there. Go in, you son of a bitch! Okay, there we go. Oh man, this really nails it with hitting you with nostalgia. It looks pretty authentic here. I'll just pull up my chair here. The controls take a little getting used to, but man, this is awesome. You can now escape reality while escaping reality. Technology is amazing. Now I'll try out my favorite NES game, Mega Man 3. Ugh, this one's not wanting to go in either. Oh, I love this game so much. Most people like Mega Man 2 the best, and I love 2, but 3 was always my favorite Mega Man game. Magnet Man Stage was always my favorite to play because I just love that music. Let's switch to The Legend of Zelda. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this now. For that true childhood experience, I'm gonna put an immature name in for my file. <laughs> poop. Oh, I gotta turn the volume up. This is my jam. Okay, time to go to the big TV with a Super Nintendo. Yeah! And I've already got my favorite Super Nintendo game in there. Donkey Kong Country 2. Diddy's Kong Quest. This game is really special to me, so seeing it on this big ass 90s TV is really something. This game is so good. If any of you haven't played it yet, then you really need to. I mean, it's right there on Nintendo Switch Online right now. Here's the classic Super Mario World, probably my favorite Mario game. You can't really see it here, but I'm really struggling with aligning this chair with the physical one that's in my room. Yeah, as expected, playing this on here is awesome too. You can adjust different settings, including the time of day. So we can make it nighttime here. Then turning the lights off makes it all dark and spooky. It really hits that staying up past bedtime on a school night feeling. Yeah, I'm gonna play some Street Fighter even though I have school early in the morning. I'm a bad boy. Okay. 
playing in the dark is pretty cool, I gotta say. It definitely makes the experience different. Oh, it's so close. But I did it! This is totally worth the lack of virtual sleep. Okay, let's change it over to the morning. I'll start the new day off with some pilot wings. This is another one that's really nostalgic to me. <laughs> oh, great. Damn right it was. Ooh, there's Shirley. As a little kid, I thought this instructor was cute, so I tried extra hard on her course to impress her. How was that? Did you like my performance? Yeah, you did. Like I was saying before, the stuff in your room is all totally customizable, which is really cool. Putting this here may not quite fit that 90s aesthetic, but hey, it's still awesome. You can also add and remove objects anytime. Virtual Me is going to make so much money selling all these copies of Mega Man 3. <laughs> there are also other consoles supported, but I wanted to show off these two to really give that early 90s feeling in this room. So yeah, MUVR is really cool. I'll put a link in the description, and anyone with a VR headset can try it out for themselves. I recommend it. Thanks for watching, and now I'm gonna go to sleep.